Hey guys, what's up? Nick White here. Um, yeah, I do uh, tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube, so check it out the description if you want to see. I'm doing a lead code series, just going through every problem and explaining it. Uh, this one people dislike because it's too easy for leak code. Uh, but if you're a beginner, they should have like super easy problems. Maybe they could uh, change the difficulty levels or something a little bit better. But um, super, it's really it really is easy. Um, yeah, you just uh, it just wants to see if an array of integers, if everything's distinct or uh, you know no two elements can be the same. Uh, so, you know, they, you're given an array of integers and you go through, there's two ways to do this, right? Um, two, like really two good ways to do this. So you, the two ways are sorting and a hash set. Uh, hash sets are really good for these types of problems, like seeing if things are distinct or if there's duplicates because hash sets, uh, only have distinct elements in them. So if you have a hash set, um, we can just put as we, we could loop through the array and put each element into the array. And if we see that w the element, the current element is already in the hash set, then we know that it's a duplicate. So that would be the first way to do that. That would be O of N space and, uh, O of N time. Cause we're looping through and we have a hash set. So let's just, uh, type this out really quick. So hash set of integer, uh, we could just call it numbers. You could call it hash set or whatever you want to call it, uh, is equal to new hash set. And then we're gonna do four into i less than uh, i equals zero uh, i less than nums dot length. So loop through. If uh, numbers, because that's our hash set, uh, contains nums of i, that means it's already in there. Then that means there is a duplicate because we're seeing the same element twice. Uh, and if that's not the case, then all we have to do is numbers dot add nums of I. So we're going to add the element into the hash set. And if we make it through that whole loop, then we return false because there are no duplicates. So we run this true, true submit. Any day now. Yep. All right, there we go. So. Uh, once again, hash set of we have the hash set as we loop through. If the number, if the current element of the array is not in the hash set, then we added we add the current element into the hash set. So you know um, this 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 does have duplicates, right? This does contain duplicates because there's two instances of one, right? So the first one we see, it's not in the hash set yet, so we add it into the hash set. And then later on, we see the one at the end. It's already in the hash set, so we return true. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. All right, now the other way that we can do this is sorting the array. So we do arrays.sort, nums. This is Java's built-in sorting, uh, which is n log n. Not, uh, it's probably merge sort or something like that. Uh, maybe it could be quick sort, but probably merge sort. And um, so it's n log n to sort and then to go through the array we just loop through the array well to array dot length minus one because we're going to be doing a common method in algorithms where we check the current element and the next element of, a, of the array so we do if nums of i is equal to nums of i plus one we return true and if we get through that whole loop then we know there's no duplicates and we return false Uh, nums dot length minus one. Oh, sorry. We have to make sure that we put i is less than so we can. Sorry. Yep, works. And then we submit. Great. There we go. So, uh, sorting is good sometimes if you don't want if you if you have a lot of data and you uh. If you don't have storage space, then um, you're gonna want to use this. And uh, if you, I don't, I, there's you know different situations for everything. So if you need, uh, if you're more, if you want to prioritize time, then you might want to do the hash set method. If you want to pri prioritize space, then you might want to do the sorting method. But those are the two ways to do it that are the best ways to do it. And uh, yeah, pretty self-explanatory. The, the reason this one works is because we're sorting all the elements, right? So uh, we check the element in the next el the current element in the next element because if we sorted this, it would be one, one, two, three. So if one 
is the same as one, then we know there's two ones, right? Two duplicates we return true. Uh, yeah, super easy problem. People, I'm pretty sure people dislike this because they think it's not good for the code, but you got to have some really easy ones on here because people want to, some beginners, they want to do like beginner problems, right? So, um, and you do have to think a little bit about it, right? So, um, yeah, that's about it for this video and check out other ones. Uh, so thanks guys and see you in a bit.